creation's God. With thought elate, thy hand divine I see impressed on scenes, where all is great, where all is full of thee where stern the alpine mountains raise their heads of massive snow, when on the rolling storm I gaze, that hangs how far below, where on some bold, stupendous height, the eagle sits alone, or soaring wings his sullen flight to haunt still more his own where the sharp rock the chamois dreads, or, slippery summit scales, or where the whitening snowbird spreads her plumes to icy gales where the rude cliff's steep column glows with morning's tint of blue, or evening on the glacier throws the rose's blushing hue or where by twilight's softer light, the mountain's shadow bends, and sudden casts a partial night as black its form descends where the full ray of noon alone down a deep valley falls or where the sunbeam never shone between its rifted walls where cloudless regions calm the soul, bid mortal cares be still, can passion's wayward wish control, and rectify the will where amidst some vast expanse the mind, which swelling virtue fires, forgets that earth it leaves behind, and to its heaven aspires where far along the day's art air is heard no creature's call and undisturbing mortal ear the avalanches fall where rushing from their snowy source, the daring torrents surge their loud-toned waters headlong course, and lift their feathered surge where swift the lines of light and shade flit o'er the lucid lake or the shrill winds its breast invade, and its green billows wake where on the slope, with speckled dye the pygmy herds I scan, or soothed, the scattered chalets spy, the last abode of man or where the flocks refuse to pass, and the lone peasant mows, fixed on his knees, the pendant grass, which down the steep he throws where high the dangerous pathway leads above the gulf profound, from whence the shrinking eye recedes, nor finds repose around where red the mountain ash reclines along the clifted rock, where firm the dark unbending pines the howling tempests mock where, level with the ice rib bound the yellow harvests glow, or veils with purple vines are crowned beneath impending snow where the rich minerals catch the ray, with varying luster bright, and glittering fragments strew the way with sparks of liquid light or where the moss forbears to creep where loftier summits rear their untrod snow, and frozen sleep locks all the uncolored year in every scene where every hour sheds some terrific grace, in nature's vast o'erwhelming power. All thee, all thee, my God, I trace.